Hello, welcome to View Pop. My name is Carl Fraser, and I am here with Zach, and we're going to talk about some, you know, some weird things. Yep, I'm ready. All right, so, I mean, I like Fortnite, and, I mean, obviously, I've seen you oh, play yeah. some Fortnite, but, like, how do you feel about Fortnite? Oh, man. At this stage, like, right now. Fortnite is honestly, like, completely taking over my life. <laughs> like, it's, uh, I gotta quit saying like so much. Um, but, yeah. I started playing uh, a little bit before the Halloween update, the Halloween promo, which was like before everybody started playing. So I was like, so I, was I consider myself an OG of Fortnite. So all right? season before season one, before so, season yeah. one, I started playing. Dang, I didn't, I didn't play back then. Yeah, <laughs> I think season one and a half. I got one. I got one of those skins from like the early days. Oh. Yup. Not the, It's not the Skull Trooper. Gold it's not that one. Gold Trooper. No. I got the Renegade Raider. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty OG. Dude, so. I love that. That's a pretty OG. It's easily my favorite one, dude. Gold Trooper. I, Gold Trooper is the one skin that I, like, I need. Right. I, need that skin. I don't care about Gold, I don't care Gold Trooper. I don't care if that comes back. Right. Gold Trooper, if that comes back, I... I See, the thing is, like, I don't... I honestly hope that they don't because, like, they're so rare right now. Yeah. If one of them comes back, like, that's that's it. I heard, they, I heard they're bring. they trying to bring back Gold Trooper, but Skull Trooper, they're, they're not. No, no, never, no, never. That's, like, that's like the one skin that, like, nobody... Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, everybody yeah. wants. Yeah. Everybody wants, and only a few people got in the beginning, and yeah. I think they should... I think they should respect... See, the respect I played Skull Trooper. back then, like, that, like, Halloween, stuff mm-hmm. like that, but, like, I was anti... Buying it, right? Like, I didn't want to buy that yep. game because like, I was first playing. I was like, I don't know how, I don't know how long I'll be playing this game for. But, exactly. Like, like, six, like, like nobody seasons. knew how big this game was gonna be. Five seasons in, I'm already playing. Oh <laughs> my gosh, playing. man, it's crazy. Like, it, it's crazy how much this game has changed everything. Yeah. For you me. know, like Ninja, like that changed his. Oh my gosh, like, him playing with Drake. Playing with Drake. Playing with that was a bit of Yachty. That was like, a. That was a big. Him playing with Drake was like a big moment for he, video he, games. He like, top in period. Like, it, he he beat his views at like. Six, I think it was like six hundred thousand. Yeah, something like that. Like, it was nuts. The money he earned from that, I can't. Even, I stayed up so late watching that. Like I watched like ten minutes of it. I was like, you know what? I I I'll understand what's going on. Like, right. He's he's playing with Drake. Mm-hmm. Obviously, he's a big rapper. All this stuff like that. But yeah. Like, I and then they ended up adding like. Who was it? It was Juju. Little, it was tra- it was Travis Travis Scott and Juju Smith Schuster. Oh my gosh. That um, is the absolute most insane squad you could ever honestly ever even come up with. Yeah, I just the one thing like what do you miss the most about like because the Fortnite obviously changed mm-hmm. like, all throughout the holiday season. What do you miss the most about? What do I like, miss the most like, um, from from you started playing until now? I miss uh, I miss Anarchy Acres. Oh, yeah, that was. <laughs> No, that makes you tear up. <laughs> that was one of my favorite places they to have, drop. I like Lazy Links, and I like that they added it, and, and it's in a good spot. Yeah, yeah. But Anarchy Acres was just a go-to, man. Yeah, I it mean, was Anarchy, I, Lonely Lodge is, the, is like, that was the first place that I jumped. Yeah, that's that was like, that, that was, was my first go-to spot, you know? Yeah, same here. And then, I remember, that was, that in a, it was, it was like, between Dusty Dusty in a retail, that was like those two houses, like the factories. Like, yeah, there. I forgot about those two. Oh my that gosh, was, that like that was my second game playing. And, like I landed there, so me and my friend always land there, like all these games. Yeah. And that's how I get, my first dub was from there. Really? So, like I just kept landing there. Oh man, yeah, that's that have to be really sad. Like yeah. having a place go away when it has like. But they, they kind of like brought it back back mm-hmm. in um. I just call it Yonder. Right. Yonder, the little <laughs> place that was like down by a flush. Flush. We call that flush part two. Yeah. Flush 2.0. They, they kind of brought it back. Because mm-hmm. like, it's just literally the same like concept. Yeah, there's basically. Like, there's the chimney, there's yep. the little factories. And it has like, like the same two buildings that they had. Yeah. And they just kind of. And then just added a couple more. There's yeah. a dance club over there. Yeah. Stuff yeah. like that. But So uh, what's some of those kills you got in the game? 22. 22. <laughs> duo squad, I, squad. Yeah, duo, squad. Yeah, duo squad. Yeah, I was with my duo friend. Squad. Yeah, I was with my friend Trey, and, and oh, he had man. eighteen, and I had twenty-two. We got second. <laughs> <laughs> you got second after all that. I choked. Because he, he died. He got down and everything. And I was just by myself. It was a one v one. Now to be fair, I, uh, the most kills I've had is uh, seventeen, and I got second as well. I was so sad, dude. But it, like yeah, it happen. back in like back in that game, I was fighting this guy like we were build fighting or whatever, and he like I had, I was lit I was lighting this guy up and I had him down to like one HP mm-hmm. and he fell to his death, 
And if I would have went on to win that, I would have had 19. And I would have been I would have been happy about it, but one away from a 20 bomb would have... Oh, yeah. For sure, uh, my, my most amount of solo kills is this solo is mm-hmm. 15. So, 15. Like, I, I won that game, obviously. Right. <laughs> if anyone was actually, I was like, what the heck am I playing this game for? <laughs> but... Yeah, uh, I really I really liked how they added uh, the Builder Pro. Mm-hmm. Like oh, that. right, that's like, Dude, that's, that's, that's the best so transition much. Yes. Like, I've ever made. From yep. standard to uh, Builder Pro, like, I told all my friends about like, like, no, it's gonna like... You guys gotta go to Builder Pro. Like, no, it's gonna mess it up. I'm like, it won't, it'll make you so much better than yes. My friend, like, he was so, like, so against it. He's like, mm-hmm. I'm not gonna switch. I'm like, switch right now. He's exactly. Like, he's like, all right, I'll go like... To just go to Playground and practice, you know? That, that's, he, that's, that's what happened. Like, we went to Playground and yep. like, just use it. Like, he's like, oh... <laughs> my God, yeah. it's so much easier. It's, it's like, like as soon as you start getting the hang of it, like it's a game changer. Yeah, like, absolute game changer. Oh, that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like I feel it's so much smoother, like than I expected. Like when it first came, it was like it was it was called it was like Builder or something. It was called, it wasn't called Builder Pro. Like Builder Combat Pro. Combat Pro. Combat Pro. There. Yeah. Why say Builder? Yeah, Combat <laughs> Pro. Like I used that the whole time. Mm-hmm. And like. So like switch bash with like your R one and oh like, yeah I could switch to R one yeah, yeah so yeah, like oh, okay cool right. <laughs> so so I switch back from like R one and like go back you got actually my this something might yeah. displace like a like a flat or something like that like you yep. try to build that I'm like when we come back but build a pro like it's all the buttons right there like once exactly this, like, this like super easy I mean I don't save so much time oh it's so much time like it's crazy it's also like a lot better than like hold up like because. I'm not like some people want it to be like you want to map it to a certain button. Like I, mm-hmm. I like it on the tree. Yeah, I yeah. like where it's at because like I like where it's at too. Like, and I think they're gonna do that eventually. Like where it can make like your own keybinds, like key, like like PC players. Yeah, like they can set whatever whatever action they want to whatever key they want. I think they're gonna do that eventually with PS4. And one thing I hope that they do that they said they might is uh, let you switch sensitivities when you go to builder mode. Oh, like the builder sensitivities? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I heard I really that. hope they do that. I saw it on a YouTube video. Uh, like, someone said about it. I forgot who it was. I don't know who it was. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, they said, like, oh, it's Cypher. Like, well, if you can, like, just, like, have different sensitivity for your buildings. Yeah. And, like, have, you can have low sensitivity just, like, walk around, but when you start building, you can have it set it to, like, the highest sensitivity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, that's what I would do for sure, is, like, yeah, set my building sensitivity, yeah. like, yeah. super high. Well, because some people, like, uh, like, the PC gamers, they have like their buttons so like their like mouse or whatever. Mm-hmm. So like when they're so they're running and then like I said like whatever. So they're <laughs> running and then they they put down they put down like a floor or something and then they put back and they go back to their pickaxe and floor mm-hmm. again pickaxe. Like yeah. Sometimes like when they're trying to move, they might actually like they go so like they're really slow and then use a the building and like they go fast. Like yep. it, that could be a little disadvantage for that, but right. Other than that, like I I want to see that happen too. Yeah. All right, so one last thing. On a scale of 1 to 10, how hyped were you after your first win? I had it on Xbox. <laughs> I, on Xbox. I think I did too. I, I think I did too. I was on actually. Xbox, and so my brother, he played a game before me. He got his first dub that game. Oh, man. And then I'm like, I'm like I bet. <laughs> I was like, I bet. So I played the game. And I got, I oh, won. my gosh. We were back to back. Dude, I was so hyped. I got my last, or I got the final kill with a snipe. Oh, like I was just I had uh, a scar, <laughs> a purple scar. I had like I had a gold scar that game, and I I had two kills in the game. One was right before that, and then I was watching this guy shoot down in this other guy, and I heard him like shooting at each other, mm-hmm. and I was just staring at this one guy with my sniper, just hoping that he was the one that uh, won that fight. So then I saw that he got the kill, so I just took the shot. And the music started playing, which I like the old music a lot better. I'm gonna say like the one thing I yeah. miss is definitely either the music or like hold up, double pump. Oh, I use that. I, I use one just to, like when, when you're shooting in that little circle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and at the end like it's like a shooting, pain in the ass, dude. Oh, <laughs> I literally cry every time. Like I want to run two shotguns like so bad. Like, right. But now after you pick up a, I would always take tax on the tax on machine gun. They took that out. I was crying that day. Like, oh, yeah. That was especially tough. That purple, purple tank machine gun. Purple tank SMG. And they had it. They took a... I, I was... So <laughs> I mean, it's so <laughs> rad. I just can't. They, just, they can't take it away from I was me. really sad when they took out the purple uh, tank shotgun. Oh, yeah, like, I know, true. like, it didn't really change. Like, the blue became that. Yeah, blue but just the right. fact of having a purple tank shotgun. It just felt so nice. All right. Especially... Oh, that's a Nintendo. 
Well, they have the heavy. Yeah, that's yeah, the goal yeah, shot. Yeah. And measure, like like that, I think I think they knew coming up to that that they needed a, like a gold shotgun. Yeah, because they didn't have one the heavy is like time. the heavy is like it's good and all, but like it's so inefficient. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, should we wrap it up? Well, we can wrap it up. All right. So this has been Carter, and this has also been Zach. And thank you for watching View Pod. Welcome everybody to the View Pod. My name is Zach. I'm here with my guest Bradley. How's it going today, Bradley? No, I'm good. Good to hear, man. All right, so we are going to talk today about some movies. You cool with that? That's cool. All right, sounds good. Now. If you had to give me your top movie series of all time, what would it be? Movie series? Series, yep. Could be a series of two movies, three movies, or even like six to eight movies in a series. Wow. Yep. <laughs> I guess well, I think I have one particular in mind, and that's the Fast and Furious series, because that's, that's my favorite. Yeah. But I want to know what yours is. Well, I don't have a favorite, but I guess a recent one is the John Wick movies. John Wick movies? Yeah. Nice. See, see I never actually saw those. Like, oh, they're amazing. When, was, when did the first one come out? Ooh, that was 2014. You know? 2014? 2015? 2015? I know. I think Chapter 2 was last year, and that one's better. Really? I love that one. Okay. That's wild. I don't hear, you don't hear that very much when, uh, yeah. a, like, the sequel is better yeah, than the original. Yeah, you don't. Yeah. I'm trying to think, like, like what... What other thing, what other series there would be like that? I don't know. I guess I haven't seen very many, yeah. but... I've seen the Harry Potter movies, mm -hmm. except for number six. Except for number six? Which yeah. one's that? Half the Half-Life Prince? Prince, yeah. Okay. I, still need, I still need to see that. I, mean, I am, I am going to watch it in the very future, yeah. of course, because I feel kind of ashamed not to see them. Yeah. I've seen the others like multiple times, <laughs> right. especially God with a Fire. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Um, who... Okay, so if... Say you have, try to think of an actor or actress, Okay. and you see that they're starring in a movie, and you're like, okay, since this person is in this movie, I gotta go see it. Who's that person for you? Who? Um, movie? Yep. So, like, he's in some, he or she's in some of your favorite movies, and you hear that they're in another movie, so you're like, okay, since they're in this movie, I gotta see it. Who's that, like, actor or actress for I you? I guess Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey? Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, because he's in one of my favorite movies, The Truman Show. Truman Show? Yeah, okay. I love that movie. Nice, all right. Yeah. I would say my favorite he's Jim Carrey movie is definitely Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. Yo. He's going to be in the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Oh really? Yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog it's, movie. It, I don't. I don't think it's gonna be. I could see the thing is I could totally see him like being Sonic too. No, he, like <laughs> I know. I know he probably wouldn't be. He's but, Dr. Like, McMahon. He, oh. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, it's a live action movie. Mm -hmm. And I don't. I don't think it's gonna be good. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be a good movie, but he might be the best part. I right. feel like he's just gonna be over the top. Gotcha. I, I just picture him running as Sonic like he did as Lloyd Christmas <laughs> like at the end yeah. when he's running after the bus. Yeah. Just like running like just straight arms like this. Um, I could just totally yeah. see him ru like running as Sonic like that. Yeah, they have Ben Schwartz, I think that's his name, mm -hmm. who, who was also a John Ralphio in Parts really? of America. He's Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that could be interesting. Mm -hmm. That could be very interesting. Um, okay. Uh, did you ever watch Star Wars movies? Did. You did. Which one was your favorite? Uh, it was, it's either an, uh, A New Hope or Empire. Ooh, okay. I, I've seen the prequels more because I kind of grew up watching them. Mm -hmm. I can watch, I could probably watch Phantom Menace and Avenger the Sith and just be like, oh, okay, I know right. movies. But Attack of the Clones is just bad. You think so? It's, it's, it's kind of hard to watch. You think so? I mean, there's totally scenes that you can kind of just like, yeah. joke, you kind of joke about them. Exactly. Like, like that's that's honestly the one movie that I really remember the most. Like I think yes, I think the yeah. third one is probably my favorite. I think yeah, the Revenge of the Sith, Sith and Attack of the Clones are definitely ones I remember the most. Mm -hmm. Whether I like it or not. Yeah, I loved uh, or uh, one of the main games I played back in the day was uh, Star Wars Battlefront Two. Yeah. So that had yeah. like all yeah. like the all of, like the villains from like almost every movie. Yeah. And I, I loved like if there was always one map. It was Mos Eisley. And you could you and whoever else was playing could uh, like each be like that. I'm pretty sure that was the only map where you could be like all the villains and heroes with like lightsabers and stuff, like the big like the big names, you know. 
like most other maps, all you could be was like clones and then occasionally get someone with a lightsaber. Yeah. But there was one map and one game mode on Mos Eisley where you could be anybody. And I would, like, I could just play that all day with someone, you know? Pretty much. And then I, I really liked Revenge of the Sith because it had General Grievous in it. Yeah. And I love being General Grievous on, mm-hmm. on that, that game as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, was one of the, that was one of my favorite games back in the day. Yeah. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Let me see. I have some more questions for you. I just can't think of them right now. Uh, <laughs> why, are you, why are you pretending to Because I have stuff? notes here. They're, you just can't see them. All right? <laughs> well, question my are, they, are they under the table? Uh, they're they on the, the table, table, but they're just invisible. So you can't see them. Yeah. Technology. It's 2K. It's 2018. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, have you ever watched like any sports movies? Yeah, I have. What are some that you've seen, and what are some of your favorites? I remember watching Remember the Titans. Remember the Titans, that's a good back one. Back in middle school, I watched it in middle school. Yep. Yeah. That was a good one. We watched, a, now that I think about it, we watched a lot of movies in school, because there was... A, yeah, that's a lot. I had, I had one class, it was called Leadership, and like we would always, like I think it was every Friday... Like, there was a different, like, theme of leadership that we would watch a movie based on. Like, one of them was Rudy, uh, Remember the Titans, um, yeah. I'm trying to think of another one. Not all of them were sports movies, but majority of them were, and I just, I, lo- I love being in that class just because we watch movies every week. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, do you have any last questions for me? What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie... Well, oh, you can that. say what's your worst movie, the worst movie you've ever seen. Worst movie I've say, ever seen? Say do both and do one of them. That's a tough one. Yeah. Or just oh, do a man. movie that you just hate or just, or a movie that's just kind of like a go-to pleasure. Okay. A movie that's a go-to pleasure is definitely Happy Gilmore. The golf yeah, movie. Yeah, that's, that's, seen that? That's a great movie. Yeah. Yeah. Adam Sandler, and I would say Adam Sandler is that one actor, like, if he's in a movie, I gotta go see that. You know, Adam Sandler, I just... I think he's one of the funniest guys out there, and anytime he comes out with a movie, it's like a must-see for me. Even, um, even if they're terrible. Even if they're terrible, like because Hill. he makes it somewhat funny still, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, all right, uh, we had a little bit of technical difficulties there, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, Bradley, uh, I think we're going to wrap it up, is that all right? Anything else you want to say? No, it was a good time being here. All right. We're happy to have you anytime, all right? Okay. This has been Zach, and this has been Bradley. Thanks for watching ViewPod. My name is Bradley, and uh, welcome to ViewPod. Today I am here with a very special guest, Alexandria. So, what's up? How you been? You know, good. I mean, this weather kind of isn't the best, but other than that, pretty good. Yeah. I don't like the rain. Oh, it's putting me in a yeah. good mood. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, you know. Life sucks, but you know. <laughs> it's good to have a lot of it now and then. Yeah, yeah. I, I, oh, I do like uh, nihilistic humor, so... Yeah. There you go. I like, I like the good old deadpan humor. And... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, speaking of humor, uh... Do you watch any like anything like comedies, like any anything television or movies? Um. So, oh, I've been watching this show. I found it on Netflix. It's called The Good Place. Oh, I love that show. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty funny. So, yeah. Com- com- comedy wise, that's what I've been up to. Other than that, I pretty much like watch scary movies. But what about you? <laughs> Yeah, I also like The Good Place. I I think season two just got on there. Mm-hmm. I, haven't, I haven't started watching it yet because I haven't been Netflix um to, to on lately. Yeah. I can speak. <laughs> okay. Um. Any any movies that you've been seeing lately, whether it's on Netflix or anything? Um, the last movie I watched was was a movie called um, Deathgasm. I've never heard of that. Tell me what it's about. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, these guys uh, are in like a heavy metal band, 
And I find, find this song that if you play it, it like opens the gates of like the underworld. Um, so they play it and all these demons come and they have to like fight them and they like kill them or whatever. But then they're like working against this uh, other woman who wants the demons to stay because she's like into that. Sounds like, <laughs> that sounds like my kind of movie. Um, but then like to like send all the demons back, they have to play the song backwards, but then they have to find the song. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. It's like funny, um, kind of, because it's like, like overly gory. Like to the point where it's like comedic. Let's just not take it seriously. Yeah, definitely. Not. I mean, there's like some like there's pretty inappropriate things in there. Like one point, like this guy has like a giant black dildo and he like is like beating like beating a demon with it. I'm pretty sure. I like remember something vaguely about that, but I think I tried to like not remember it more than anything. I don't. I don't think that's kind of. I don't think that's appropriate for this kind of podcast. But you know. Hey, they said we're allowed to have adult content, just not a lot of test. That's why I said the underworld. <laughs> Under- oh, right, right, yeah. of course. Well, I'd have to check that out sometime. So it sounds like, it sounds fun. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Good, good music in the movie? If you like heavy metal. I do. What? Okay, then yeah, I mean, it's not like bad music, necessarily. You don't, you don't listen to it? Well, no, I do. So, like, my brother's super into, like... Like metal, he's like a hardcore kid. <laughs> Just technical difficulties yeah. again. But are you into like hardcore music then? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, I'm pretty much just into like any kind of music, except for like new modern country. I I can't get into that. Country. Yeah, country. I don't know. I don't know about that, man. What's your go-to song right now? Probably anything by Ghost. Ghost? Okay, They're a cool. Swedish metal band. Swedish? Yeah. They got some good ones. I got into Swedish rap for for a minute. That's like, that's probably sounds great. No. No, it's not? <laughs> <laughs> it's I appreciate the effort that they put into their art, but it's not something I want to like subject myself to again. Oh, okay. Yeah, pretty uh, Ghost has gotten very popular like these past few years. The newest album is Pretty great. Mm. What What do you listen to? Anything that's it could be anything. Um, I've been listening to a lot of um, a band called The Garden. Um, I'm pretty sure they like describe themselves as like uh, like electro punk. They're pretty cool. Um, yeah. If you like, so they kind of remind me of like the Ramones meets the Talking Heads, but if they were at an EDM music festival. It's a, it's a neat combo. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I've been into. But okay. <laughs> yeah. Are you into sports? <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. We have to answer that question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, thank, thank you for tuning in. Do you have any other thing? Any last words? <clears throat> Uh, no, it was a pleasure, though. Yes, it was a good time. So, we'll, we'll see you later on the uh, view pod. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See ya. Hi, my name is Allie. Welcome to ViewPod. Today I have my guest, Carter. So... So I'm just going to be asking Carter a few questions today. Nothing serious, just want to kind of set, uh, set a flow. So... My first question for you is, um, what is the most meaningful gift you've ever received? Most meaningful gift? Wow, that's like a tough question. Like, I had to go, not think back all oh, throughout my years. Hmm. It was like, matter like for an occasion, like, no, not, like, like birthday, Christmas, just like, uh, just any gift. Yeah, just any. Anything that really like stood out to you that was like, that still, like, you still remember? Well, the one thing I can't remember is money. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, I would say, like, um, it would have it to be about, like, my, uh, either my car, but I still have to pay for it, but it was a gift, like, they had paid for, like, half my insurance for it, but it was either that or, like, just, uh, money. Definitely money, like, the most amount, like, no, I'm not, never mind. You know, <laughs> I would say the most amount I got, that's just kind of, like, showing off, like, come on. <laughs> Yeah, is it is it you know, like my car or like some money, something like that? 
No, so you like still obviously like have your car? Yeah, it's right out there. Nice. It's, it's, it's beautiful. <laughs> um, so uh, what kind of car do you drive? I drive a 2015 Ford Fusion. Oh, Ford. So do, do you think Fords are reliable cars? I have one, but no. <laughs> no, I'd rather much have like, I mean, I love the car. Like, I love it, but like, I'd rather have a Toyota. Yeah, yeah, it's like, like a Corolla, like something like mm -hmm. that kind of matches like what my car is, like uh, it's, 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 like it's a sedan, but yeah. whatever. And then like, I rather, like is this, if I have a Toyota, because like my family, they own like this dealership mm -hmm. here in Muscatine, and uh, well, not just Muscatine, it, like it's around, okay. but like um, they won't let me get like a foreign car, okay. like a Toyota or Nissan. <laughs> they won't yeah. let me get any of those, so like, I'm kind of stuck with you, like, Ford, Chevy, GMC. Mm -hmm. so I just that. actually found out that my car is technically a foreign car, because I drive a Kia. It's, it's definitely foreign. Yeah, and I just had to replace the uh, purge valve solenoid on it. Yeah. And my friend Matt, he fixed it for me. He's like, I don't know, I've never really uh, dealt with a Kia. It's a foreign car. I was like, what? Yeah, it's not he, foreign? Kia's a foreign car. Like, if you have a foreign car, like, from... My family, we, I can't have a Toyota and Toyota and go to like the GM store yeah. and get my car fixed because they won't have the parts. Mm -hmm. So you have to travel to like across the like city or state, whatever, just to find like a different, just to find some like body shop to like help like oh, yeah. help fix my car. So like, I mean, there's a Toyota shop in town, but like mm -hmm. they're like parts they have to like ship them from like wherever they, just, they come from. Yeah, wherever they come from, but from like <coughs> you know like American made cars, the, all the parts are like in. It could be in, like say in like inside the states, inside mm -hmm. the city, so like everything's right there. You can get it whenever. I mean, like obviously, like I'd rather I get I'd rather much have a foreign car than a Ford. The <laughs> one thing I hate about my Ford is just like connected to Bluetooth, the like, USB mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like it just it bugs out. Like it's sometimes my radio doesn't work. My kind of my USB yeah. to my phone. So like I sometimes I want to give up my car sometimes. Yeah, last summer there was a point where um, my like aux cord had stopped working, yeah. so I had duct tape and I like taped it up because if I like if you held it in the right position, it, it would work. So I like found that position and I taped it there. Was it the aux cord? Like, it's was like, it the, was it the cord problem or was it the the plug? No, it was the plug in like to my car. Oh. Yeah. So it like it still like I never got it fixed, so I just have like an FM transmitter in there now. Oh, those like, are not good. <laughs> I, I hate them. Not. Cassette yeah, but but the thing is, it was either like replace like my whole like radio and like I'd have to replace all of it because it's like a one hole. Oh, so it was, it was a stock radio. What? It was a stock radio. Like, did the did the car come with that radio? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, okay. but it like goes all the way down like, and it has like the AC controls and everything yeah. like that, and then under it is like the USB ports mm -hmm. and like the cigarette lighter um, mm -hmm. things. Um, but no, I'd have to replace all of that, and it was like expensive, so I was just like, oh, I'll spend $20 on an yeah, so like, transmitter. One thing like, that I had to disappear from my car, like, I had subs in my old, like, my old car, mm -hmm. and to connect my subs, I had to get a whole new radio, which my radio is like this big, <laughs> and if I took that out, then I replaced the, the radio with this like big of a radio, so like, there's no point having like, that yeah. gap. <laughs> so, like, and also, also my radio wasn't, it can't connect to my... Yeah, it couldn't connect to my radio for some reason, okay. so, so I had to give it to my brother. I feel sad. Yeah, no, my car is uh, super old. Um, well, not really. It's a it's a twenty eleven. Oh, for <laughs> but, <old. laughs> but no, my it had, car two thousand eight. It has like a, it almost has two hundred thousand miles on it, because my family uh, like lives like all over the place. So like, say travel with that car. Yeah, my my mom's in Florida. My dad's in Virginia. Um, my cousins and my aunt and whatever they're in Pennsylvania and then my dad's mom is in Washington State so it's like that's travel yeah a lot of travel yeah. I, I barely travel I mean like I just go to like Bend or like Davenport or stuff like that that's yeah. like every other day it's not time every time. other day every other day like because my girlfriend was up there oh so. okay do you do you uh prefer spending time in uh Bettendorf and Davenport yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, she doesn't like a, I there's no question she she doesn't like but she doesn't like musket team but she like I don't know what to say. Like, there's like way more to do outside of Muscatine anyway. Yeah, like Bendorf's like, I, I say this to her. Bendorf is just like Downport. It's but she's like it's not. It's a different part.
part of downpour. It's not downpour. I'm like, it, it is downward. I honestly, I don't know when I like am out of Davenport. I like just the whole so, Quad Cities area. I was just like, yeah, it's all Davenport. It depends. What, like, I only know one way. Like, there's if you go like, you know where like Dix is at. Yeah. It's boring. Goes like on. Okay, so there's like a little bridge. Okay, there's one. There's like a town over there. And there's a town over here, right? And like, oh, yeah. Dix, Dix is Steak and Shake and IHOP and all that. That's mm-hmm. Davenport. To the left of that bridge is Bendorf. Okay, so my, my doctor's office used to be in Bendorf then. Yes, it would have to be. Like, because... It, it, so if, if you go on the ramp and you take a left, that's Bendorf. Okay. And then, yeah, because Ulta is like right over there. Yeah, Ulta, yeah. All that stuff. Yeah. yeah. yeah but this, I rather prefer to stay. I rather prefer to stay like in Bendorf and Davenport than Washington mm-hmm. for sure. Like, she, she complains a lot like... Oh, how come I don't go like come down to Muscatine? I'm like, well, you say you don't like Muscatine, so why yeah. would I try to fight you down here? Like, plus it kind of stinks in Muscatine. Like, shout out yeah. to the pollution. <laughs> GPC, <laughs> gang over here. But I don't know, like. Yeah, no, I saw this tweet the other day. Um, someone found an article that said um, pollution can like make people stupid. Basically, like it lowers your IQ. And someone quoted it and said that's why there's some like so many dumb people in Muscatine. Yeah. Price. It was I like it was funny, but yeah, it was definitely like a call out post. It, it, like they're trying to cut down the pollution, but they're not trying. Like you see, every time you go down to GPC, yeah. like it's there. Like you see it. Well, like then, my one of my friends, like dad, his dad used to live down there, like mm-hmm. right next to GPC. Mm-hmm. You can just smell it. It smells so bad. He's like, he's like, well, I'm used to it. I'm like, no, you're yeah, not. I'm like you know. You're Come well, on. see, I heard I heard from like people that have lived down there for like the majority of their life that like you eventually get used to the smell, yeah. you don't notice it. Yeah. But it's like every time I like smell it, it like makes me gag. Like when I moved to Iowa, and I like spent a day in Muscatine for the first time, I was like, oh my god, like I can't. What breathe. did you live before? Um, I'm so I lived in Waxahachie, Texas before I moved here. Muscatine. Yeah. <laughs> Texas and Muscatine. Yeah, my mom. Um, Got a job at the VA in Iowa City. She wasn't active duty anymore. And then, um, like, obviously, my, da- my dad is still active duty. He um, is stationed in uh, Norfolk, Virginia. Virginia. That's where one of my friends are at right now. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't know about the same location, but now I know somewhere in Virginia. Yeah. So, yeah, I've moved around, like, a, like a lot of my life. I was born in Guam, so. Guam. Guam. Guam, Guam is an island. It's, like, <laughs> um... Kind of by like the Philippines and Japan, oh my. Um, but it's a United States territory. So. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm. So. That built though, like you're out of like. Well, for me, I would think of that as like not this territory, but like I guess legally it is. But that's <laughs> yeah. kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Like you live down in Guam and something like that. But. Yeah. Um. Well, I was okay. So I was like born three months early, and I had a lot of health issues. Oh, well, so I was I, two. <laughs> I was two months early. <laughs> I didn't get a stay in Guam. Um, I had to be, um, like, medevaced to the NICU in uh, Okinawa, Japan. And then we stayed there for, like, nine months because I was just in the hospital. You went to Japan? Yeah. Oh but are you are you from Muscatine then? Were you born no, here? I was born in Cedar Rapids. Okay, but you have you lived in Iowa your whole life then? Yes, I have. I mean, yes. Have I? Yeah, I have. Yep. It always surprises me when I uh, like meet people that have been in like one area the majority of their life. Yeah, well, I, my parents <clears throat> moved to Muscatine back in, I, God, I couldn't tell you, but back, it was a long time ago. Yeah. Like, so I was, I was obviously raised here. Mm-hmm. I wasn't born here, though. Like, I, my parents lived in Cedar Rapids, and my dad got a job at Fairway, like as a manager. Mm-hmm. Then uh, some, some happens, and I've lived here. <laughs> now we're here. Yeah. All right, so I guess uh, we can go ahead and wrap it up. Do you have anything else you'd like to say? Um, thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys for watching ViewPod. Uh, we'll see you next time.